is more the keeper of the time, but the bass player is kind of the interpreter of the time and the translator of that to everyone else. So you're kind of like the glue in a lot of ways. You really, it's, it's a support instrument, but it's also the crossroads between melody and rhythm. And of course the harmony is, is also there in the middle. But it's a way of connecting, one way of looking at it is in a very simplistic point of view, is that you're essentially connecting the drummer with the rest of the band and making what he does sound more musical. And you kind of hook up with the drummer in a typical situation. And that's your classic rhythm section is bass and drums. And we're supporting other people, but within that structure, there's, there's room for innovation, there's room for expression, and really you're an interpreter of the rhythmic aspects of the song. And then, but you have this bridge with the, with the harmonic and, and melodic interest too, where someone like Paul McCartney, to go way back to the first guys I listened to, he played a lot of very melodic lines but yet he was always very rhythmic with it and, and there was a marriage there that goes on. So uh, the bass is just meant to make everybody else feel good. It's a collective thing where everybody knows when it feels good and then and, and if there needs to be an adjustment made, the drummer's in charge of okay it's 88 beats a minute or it's 92 beats per minute or hey you over there stop rushing. Whereas the bass player can, can is more involved with things like hey Mr. Piano Player what are you doing with your left hand there, let's get together on that or reinforcing things. Uh, it's sort of, I like to think of bass as the essence of music in terms of you're really getting down to the real elemental things that, that make it happen. I play a lot of bluegrass music too and other things where there's not necessarily a drummer, so it's important to have that sense of time without a drummer. And so yeah, playing with a metronome is, is a part of it, but it's more about really listening to what the other people are doing and finding that little slot where it feels best and just very gently keeping everybody there. It is nice when people go, hey man, that groove was great. I mean, the bass player's job is to provide a groove that everybody else can, can dig and, and, and expand from. And I love it, it's a great job. <laughs>